And here we go, another move here in the NFC South. The Carolina Panthers, according to Ian Rappaport, have agreed to terms with Broncos linebacker Josie Drew, another addition here in Carolina. Now, I'm not too sure how long the deal is going to be. I'll see if I can find it real quickly, but it looks like maybe just a one-year deal. Not too sure yet, but if you guys do know at the time this video drops, Comment down below how long of a deal this is. However, in my opinion, this is actually going to be a pretty decent signing for the Panthers. In this video, we're going to break down why Josie Jewell is a good fit here in Carolina. But also, before we jump into the video, make sure you guys do me a big favor. Comment down below a letter grade for this signing. But also, subscribe if you're new. It's free. doesn't cost anything. And we're going to be covering the Carolina Panthers for the rest of the offseason. Let's get right into Josie Jewell and why he's a good fit in Carolina. Now, right away, when I look at Josie Jewell and what he brings to this team, you, you look at a couple of different things, right? Last season, he had three sacks, two forced fumbles, three fumble recoveries, and was overall a tackling machine. He helped the Broncos be, you know, very productive at the end of the season in terms of getting to the quarterback. Now, Josie Jewell stands out in one department to me being such a surefire tackler. Now, last season, he had 108 total tackles, 60 solo, like we already said, three sacks, right? The year prior, 128 tackles. So he's always been in that 100 mark over his last three healthy seasons, okay? So I think right away, when you look at what the Panthers needed coming into the offseason, it's this right here, a run stopper. Now, the Panthers last year, they ranked number 28 in rush attempts allowed per game, which is obvious because their offense was so bad, they allowed opposing teams to just run all over them right but also they ranked at 23 in rushing yards allowed per game 32 dead last in rushing touchdowns allowed per game and but they were top 12 in rush yards allowed per game now you might be asking how are they one of the worst run defenses but have one of the you know upper echelon uh, you know defenses in terms of yards allowed per rush well like we said before their offense was so bad that teams were to go up 20 and would just run the football right uh, but now with that being said we already saw the Panthers make a couple of moves this offseason bringing in two new offensive linemen in Damian Lewis and Robert Hunt signing those guys to pretty big deals now they needed to make some move defensively because you just want to get better not only did they start off by signing Ajon Robinson one of the best run stoppers in the NFL but they also still have Derek Brown their run defense is going to be better they needed another surefire tackler and this is exactly where Josie Jewell comes in he's going to be someone who plays the middle of the field can get to the quarterback in spurts not someone who's going to do it consistently but when you do you know do that double double mug blitz look with uh you know either Shaq Thompson or uh, Chandler Wooden, whoever it may be, they will be able to, uh, to get to the quarterback, especially when you have two big guys in a Sean Robinson and Derek Brown up the middle. It's going to take a lot of attention of the offensive lineman. So right away, when I look at this move, I see someone versatile, someone who can really help out in stopping the run and just getting some big time tackles. Now, I don't think he's going to be a guy you, you can drop back into coverage consistently. I mean, when you look at his stats, he's, he's not amazing in, in pass coverage. Only, I don't I think he has, what, two interceptions in his career so far. But this is where I see Josie Jewell as being just a good fit here in Ca Carolina. Like, on those screen passes uh, to the tight end, he could, does a really good job fitting into the little, uh, you know, spaces and making a tackle. So, listen, I do like this addition for them, but there are still so many other areas that they need to improve. I think strong safety is one that I think they should go after. I know a lot of people like Jamie Robinson, but adding some depth there would not hurt at all, as well as just the DB room in general, right? You have uh, DiCaprio Boodle, you have Troy Hill, and uh, JC Horn, right? They're hoping some of these guys can really start to break out, uh, but you definitely want to add some more depth, especially with this one. Good linebacker ad, add some more depth there, but I'm telling you, there's a lot more spaces, a lot more poles in this defense than you think, and I think offensively, they look pretty good, right? You, you got Chuba Hubbard, you got Miles Sanders, you got Mike Boone, you got Tariq Cohen, um, your wide receiver room, it looks decent, Jonathan Mingo, Terrace Marshall, Adam Thielen, tight end, maybe add someone there in the draft, but overall, I like this pickup, Josie Jewell, someone who will just bring a surefire tackler to the team, and someone who can get a lot of tackles for a loss, so let me know what you guys think, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, join the family, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, peace.